Today on Cowboy Ted's Classroom Fitness, we are going to introduce you to Nels Anderson, who is going to introduce you to drumming. Nels is in charge of the drum bus, and he goes to schools and does assemblies and after schools programs. But today, you're going to do this right at your desk. He's going to teach you how you can do a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of drumming. You're going to use both hands at the same time, which is good for your brain. Nels, welcome, and would you show us a little bit about what you do when you go to a, a school assembly or an after school program with your drums? And then we're going to actually have the kids follow along with you. All right. Well, um, I think this will be the first time uh, I've conducted a drumming on desks, but uh, we'll see if the desks have different sounds. Uh, a lot of times the middle of a surface, like a table or a desk, is going to sound different than the edge. So okay. if we were starting at an assembly with a bunch of drums, I'd first just see if people want to start out playing in the middle. Let's hear what it sounds like if we play the middle. So let's just go one, two, three, four. Now slide our hands to the edge of the desk and let's see if we can get, so we're just going to use the tips of our fingers. Let's just see what it sounds like if we play the edge of the desk. On a drum, on a hand drum, it's going to be a higher sound. Not sure what it'll sound like on the desk. So let's try it out. So let's see, same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, let's roll it. Okay, and if we put those two sounds together, let's just start real basic with a boom, boom, ta. And if you sing it, it helps you play it. So boom. Perfect. So obviously this works better with a drum, but they can do it with any surface. You even said they could do it on their belly if they want to practice this at home. Part of getting better is practicing, right? Yeah, it's a, with, with like little hobbies and stuff like that, the more time you put into it, the better you get. And it's, it's always fun to challenge yourself because uh, it's fun to see how you can improve. And it takes time, you know, to have your hands learn what you, sometimes seems so easy, but you got to build this like hand-eye coordination and and uh, if you persevere, it comes. And you don't have to be perfect at the start. Whatever you do, you, you can do it on your own. You can do it in front of your family. Can you teach them the birthday song? And they're going to do it on their desks, and they'll just follow along with you. All right. So a lot of our beats, it helps if you say what you want to play. So our birthday song, you're just saying to yourself, put one hand in the middle of your desk, one hand on the edge of your desk, and just say to yourself, what's your birthday? Perfect. So you will do school assemblies, you'll do after school programs, you'll even do birthdays and they can find out all the information about the drum bus at your website which is drumbusutah.com. Thanks Nels, this has been awesome. Okay kids, focus your attention back to your teachers, take your hands away from your desk <laughs> and don't do this again until you get home. That's our lesson for Cowboy Ted Show and Classroom Fitness. Special thanks to Nels from the drum bus.